YouTube fam, what is going on? If you're here because you've seen how awesome the cover photo looks, it is 100% real. I am about to convert my personal home garage into the absolute baddest man cave you guys will ever see. <laughs> no. <laughs> my wife don't like that. My wife don't like that. Girls room. So here's what's gonna go down. So we got our golf cart. Courtney's cart usually goes here, which is gonna go out because I'm bringing in my truck. And we're gonna fully repaint all this. I got the simulator here. This is where I practice all my racing, which this thing is a lifesaver. Got my toolboxes. Uh, eventually, I'd like to have cabinets on the walls. Uh, but I got all these crazy LED lights for, for the, the ceiling. So there's, there's two in this bay, one in this bay. So we, I'm thinking we do the entire ceiling all flat black, and then we do the walls a gray, and then uh, epoxy the floor, push Courtney's workout stuff outside, because it never gets... No, your workout stuff is going. Your simulator has more dust on Oh. <laughs> you guys understand how... Uh, how the man's always gonna win the conversation. We'll, we'll see who wins. This is the man cave. You have the entire house, Courtney. Didn't win this one. Oh, huh. Anyway, uh, but yeah, it's just gonna be a good time. So you guys stay on for the ride. I'm gonna time lapse everything. I got a few people to help me paint because I absolutely hate painting. And um, I'll capture them painting. But yeah, let's just get right into this. And uh, let's take a good look at this garage because it is about to be transformed. By the way, I made all these sick little brackets the other day. I did capture that. All right, I'm at the shop. I just got these bad boys all welded up. Uh, let's bring them home and bolt them on the doors. In all garages, these dudes that put all of them in, like put like 75,000 feet of this ugly rail. So I cut it uh, completely, just designed a new one made it fit in between the frame rails because I'm doing all the octagon lighting in between the garage. And then I just gave it uh, just a sick new, simple look. Painters are almost here. We, uh, we have the whole entire garage empty. And uh, now they're gonna go through and you guys are gonna see the transformation. I'll put up some time lapses and GoPros. And then we're gonna get to the awesome lights. And um, I already have a plan for what's going on this wall. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. But yeah, let's get this bad boy painted. Oh my gosh, that, that is dark. Yeah, that's gonna be nice to get the first coat on. Man, that is gonna look so good. So good. It's pretty dark, huh? <laughs> that's nice. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good, Courtney? <laughs> the garage looks so good with just being painted. I can't wait to show you what the lights are gonna look like next. I'm gonna about to unbox them and show you. But look at how good these guys did. And uh, look at how much better this looks just all fully painted with black. And my favorite part is is I had them paint all the backs of the doors and uh, they completely went away. So it just, it looks so good. Uh, let's grab the lights. This is gonna be probably one of my favorite parts besides uh, when we figure out the cabinet situation, but the lights are gonna make the whole look. We obviously still have to figure out the flooring. So Courtney really hasn't seen this yet. She's walking out here right now. Hey, how do you like our new front yard by the way? Check it out. Oh my, you even did the back of the door black. Isn't that and nice? The the <laughs> All black everything. So do you want to help me put the lights up? Or at least attempt? I can put them up. So these are going to be the next coolest thing. Um, they're all octagon LED lights. 
and they're just gonna make the entire garage. I'll put the link in the bio of uh, which ones I got. I just got them off Amazon, uh, but I heard they're pretty tricky to put up. So I'm gonna grab my laser and uh, we're gonna start laying them out, but I got three. So I got one for that bay and, and one on each one of the, what? The light switches. The what? The, the whatever they're called. Oh, I'll just get black covers. You're saying for those. <laughs> All right, boys, we got one up. I still got to wire it all, but it looks freaking sick. Do you like it, Courtney? It looks so good. I still got two more to hang, but you can just see the garage starting to take shape. It looks so much better than what it did. I'm gonna keep going on these, these two bays, but man, it looks so sick. right now and this is gonna be first reaction of how bright this is it is absolutely insane <laughs> it might honestly be way too bright but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments I'm gonna turn this on but watch this <laughs> it is so freaking bright it is I mean it's just wild so it, it turned out better than expected, you guys. Honestly, again, I uh, I just bought these lights on Amazon, which again, I'll, I'll put the link in the bio. I didn't, didn't get them for free, nothing like that. I just wanted this cool look, but this is unbelievable. I am just so beyond, just so excited on how this has turned out. Now, I have a huge surprise for you guys. It's gonna be in part two. Uh, but we are going through and I found a local guy that does the sickest epoxy floors you guys will ever see It's not like the traditional gray epoxy where you sprinkle uh, Chips, which I, I love that but it's it's not the traditional that at all He makes this epoxy look three-dimensional. He uses multiple colors uh, By the way, I don't know what colors honestly to do on the floor Judging by the the gray the black the lights what colors you guys think we should do on the floor I'm kind of leaning towards like black gray and white But I'm really debating on pulling some green in or maybe some red or something uh, So drop in the comments and let me know what you guys think But I am just again excited. I have another huge surprise that's going on this wall that I'll show you guys what that looks like here pretty soon uh, but Honestly, I'm just, I'm excited. This was, uh, this is a very relatable project, I feel. You know, everyone uh, that has a garage uh, could do this fairly simple, as long as you got some paint, and you don't have to even do these LEDs. This is something that I kind of wanted. These were more expensive for me. I, uh, I really debated on buying them. They're, they're like 700 bucks a light, so it's, it's definitely not a cheap option, but I think it's gonna make my garage and um, I really just wanted that cool man cave style. Um, also, if anyone does any like LED lighting, garage art, anything like that, I, I wanna hang some stuff like above here, uh, just tie it all in. I still gotta get blinds. There's still a lot to do, to be honest. Um, but I just, again, wanted to hop on here, share my little house project with you guys. Um, I've been wanting to do this for about two years now since we moved in. And this is just gonna be an area where if, uh, if I have any buddies over, you know, we could come in here. We could rip uh, some lap times on the simulator. Um, I was fortunate enough to have, uh, have this to practice on uh, when I race. And then in the summers, it'll be nice to open up all the garages and we could work out Courtney and I in here. But anyway, um, I appreciate you guys for uh, watching. I will tell you the next episode, part two is gonna be pretty cool because it's gonna be this completely done. I'm gonna bring the C10 Slayer in here. I'll get the Tacoma. We'll do a full photo shoot. I'll do like a real cool cinematic uh, video for you guys. Uh, but the, the next episode is gonna be showcasing the crazy steps it takes on the floor and then what's going on the back wall and then we're done. Uh, but other than that, if you guys uh, are new here, please subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, like this video if, if you want to see part two. And uh, any of uh, my people on here that always are support me, I just appreciate you guys. Have a blessed night. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to bed exciting, really excited tonight, honestly. Uh, Courtney helped me put these bad boys up, so thank you, Courtney, so much. Uh, but other than that, wait till next episode, because it's going to be pretty wild.